I'm going to give you the game to win as a fan of rap and a nigga who understand the game. You got to address certain things directly, convincingly, and confidently. Exactly. And this is one of those things that you just got to do if you want to win in this game and go to that next level. Controversy, True. face it head on. Like Pookie yeah. said, from snitching allegations, mm-hmm. chain robbery, fighting, taking a loss in a fight. Is he... Is off the future tour. He said he didn't get took off of it. He working on the album. We can all agree. Us three with our age and our experience, I'm staying on the tour with future. What? I'm rocking every show, every crowd. I'm, I'm gonna about rap about the experiences. I'm gonna go to in the streets and grind. That's just how I get out. That yeah, nigga. That's he, giving you. That's oh, excuse me. That's yeah. that's giving you ammunition to to but, to. to, to do your what, shit. That's what he say? Cool, whatever. That was the first thing they carried over with. Right. Okay, we take that. Okay, da 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 I want to make it very clear, bro. I don't care if dog is telling or not, but our culture is so fixated oh, on man. this uh-huh. term of snitching and telling and all this. I'm over it now, bro. I am completely over that conversation with niggas. Right. If you don't like the nigga, you don't like because he told you don't rock with it, just don't rock just with don't it. don't rock with it. It's me. cool at this point. But it's like, this is the number one topic, so you got to come talk about it. Because yeah. if you're not, you're not doing what you, you know, what you're supposed to be doing on podcast and rapping yeah, hip-hop yeah. media. But his really? homie went and did an interview. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. You don't have to talk yeah, about can, it. We ain't got to talk about we it. We don't it's got to. Real. but He totally told. We you, don't, know, you like him, you love him, you hate him. Well, if, if he <laughs> did, he did. It. If he... He say he didn't, okay. I don't listen to cuz. I ain't going to lie to you. I never heard I, a song. No, yeah. And he teach his own, but... His homie went and did an interview and uh, spoke on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. What happened with that situation? And I just keep it real. Like, with that situation, you feel me? It was more of a... It was more of a, like, misinterpretation in the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. When you allegedly or shit, you feel me, get caught in, you feel me, a car or whatever the case may be, you feel me, they gonna charge you with Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm saying? And shit, from what they said, you feel me, from what the police told us is that, you feel me, they seen us in the car, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I ain't, you know, I said less on that. And these people, you know, that's calling you over the last week, are there people that's trying to get you to, because, you know, I've heard 1090 Jake talk to academics and people trying to pay you to say certain things and, and things of that sort. I mean, I done had a lot of weird ass conversations and you feel me weird ass offers from a lot of people you know what i'm saying but as a how i look at that situation as a whole i ain't tarnishing nobody from my hood or like you feel my area or my city you feel me we don't rock like that and like i said me and brody been got over that situation you feel me so i didn't feel like that was the world's business you know what i'm saying because i know how they gonna look at it on the outside you know what i'm saying when they don't know the inside business and he said I would say cheese and didn't really say too much, didn't say a whole lot, uh, touched on it a little bit, but said, you know, I'm not really here to put out Tallahassee business and, you know, I'm not tearing nobody from Tallahassee down. And it was some stuff that was misinterpreted in the situation and the arrest. Said some things got misinterpreted. Some things got said that or reported as said, but it really wasn't that. So I guess he's saying, like, hey, bro, really, what they saying ain't this or that or whatever. So the paperwork line. He didn't even go that far into it. Oh, I'm just asking. No, no, I don't know. He didn't really go that far into it, but it was just like, damn. They say they got paperwork on this one, right? Two times. Yeah. <laughs> and when he asked I'm them not, about I'm the... Not coming out too, or fuck that. <laughs> bro, that's the nah, that's big, what, that's what hey, the hey, he got hit with that little bro. Say, look at it, bro. Yeah. Let, this this yeah. was going on, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We finna make this move. You feel yeah. me? Just, yeah. bitch, bitch, I got you. You feel me? We gotta straighten it out. We can't have that right now. Yeah. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? That's, he got a little bro, bro. Yeah, that's what I think. Little bro, man. He got it with that little bro. Cause I, I ain't gonna even lie though, bro. He might didn't even let it go that far. He probably just said, "Nigga, think about it. He an artist. He rapping. He know how this inner shit work. In this shit work. He a young nigga. That nigga knew." My nigga, if I go to a tour right now, nigga, and I got to go out there in front of them people, what they going to do? They gonna, nigga, they going to boo gonna that nigga. Gonna and that's what I'm saying. That'll make a nigga say, And hey, then bro. they going to say, damn, boo, Future was getting booed. 
That's what they gonna say. But too. he uh, he was like four five slots, five slots before Future. But Future artists, they still gonna yeah. attach his name to. Yeah, they shit. was gonna go in on him. Yeah, yeah. So well, he probably at, at the a, end of the day it was gonna yeah. be like something with Future booed yeah. in the caption. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this, real Boston Richie. At this table, we don't give a damn. Nah, I right. like the music. You know what I'm saying? I need to check him out. The, the, the songs hit. The songs hit. Bro, bro, shit hit. I, I don't care. But he needs to come out and address this himself directly yes. if he want to continue this rap. It's too big now. It gained too much steam. It didn't grow legs. It's all over the biggest rap and hip hop blogs. Yes. Everybody talking about it. They blew you up, boy, because I ain't know who you was. Yeah. You, that nigga was just the name. I, ain't I, gonna lie. I, was, I, was, I was hearing the name. Yeah. I ain't never seen the face until. This shit came it came out. on in it came on in the spot last night. People still bobbing. Da, 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 da. Like I say, bro, I'm not really just that concerned. Now my message is my net message about the streets. I'm gonna stand on that when I push that in my other lane of my commentary on my platform. But when it comes to did it in real life, bro, I don't care. And, and if I'm a nigga, I don't want that on my name. I got to come out and address that. And the only way to address it really is to sit down and do an interview. This is your career, nigga. You gotta address it, bro. You having a once in a lifetime opportunity. One of the you gotta top address it. One of the top three rappers in the game. For the new niggas. Like, you are a double XL freshman. Easy. Hands down. 2020. Nigga, you free band, nigga. Nigga, 2022, him. <laughs> You're supposed to. 2022. Glorilla. Him. Probably Raw 49. I'll say they the top three. This other little dude for the kids named Yeet that I be seeing around. Yeah, I ain't, Yeet, Yeet. I ain't checked yeah, him out. Yeah, so that's yeah. top four. Yeah. You in the top four for this year, nigga, undeniable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as rappers, you know what I'm saying? And he I can agree with that. He got the streets. So I'm like, bro, I'm come out. That nigga, I swear. I, nigga. Come out and address I that shit about directly. That, but I was hearing about him. Really? You got to come out and dress that shit directly and go get your bag. Clear it up. And I'm going to be real with you. If you did it and it's, if it's that, man, stand on Hey, bro, hey, da, 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 this happened. They ran with it like this on the paperwork. I ain't say this. I ain't say that. But the subliminals are not answering. I get that niggas be like, man, just don't pay attention to this. So I don't want to discuss no street stuff on the Internet. But I ain't going to lie, bro. Your career is on the that's, line. That tough yeah, ass. You have to that, it. All rappers, listen. That yeah. that tough ass shit is dead. Y'all you know what I'm saying? You gotta, just, you gotta, just you gotta put out some good music. You gotta chill. put that shit to the side. Yeah. Put your pride to the side. Address this shit like a man. Yeah. They say like a man. You know what I'm saying? And, and shit, nigga, move on. That would on. be his best yeah. option. Facts, facts. Instead of... Showing the money that ain't that ain't that ain't telling us yeah, nothing. Nah, I mean, you really gotta address that shit, or else his career is just gonna fall off. Yeah. I feel like yeah, he need to address you ain't that lying, shit. Like, they, he niggas, address that shit, niggas gotta stop doing that shit. If your chain get took, because I remember you telling them niggas. If your chain get nah, took, for real. if 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 some shit like this here pop out, nigga, go on, get out there, address that shit address yourself. That shit. Yeah. Don't let your people talk for you. Not Don't let. That. Got nobody you. else, cause ain't nobody. Look, they all they gonna do is make motherfuckers look at your ass even more crazy, crazy, bro. And I want to see the young rappers win. That's yeah. what I really want niggas to understand, yeah. nigga. I want to see y'all win, nigga. I don't get nothing out of a rapper falling off. That's not gonna. I don't rap. All right. So, nigga, guess what, nigga? A rapper fall off, it don't benefit me. You lose your career, it don't benefit me at all. It don't all help right. me or hurt me. So it's like, I'd rather see you win because exactly. this is more niggas in the game that I could possibly work with, talk to. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to give you the game to win. Yeah, That's sure. me, bro. I'm going to give you the game to win as a fan of rap and a nigga who understand the game. You got to address certain things directly, convincingly, and confidently. Exactly. And this is one of those things that you just got to do if you want to win in this game and go to that next level. Every rapper has a challenge. It come early in career or it come white when you start, middle of your career, hit a plateau, or like, man, my shit's stagnant right now. I got to figure it out or a controversy. True. Face it head on. Like Pookie yeah. said, from snitching allegations, yeah. chain robbery, fighting, taking a loss in a fight, da -da -da -da, whatever. Females, you got to face it directly now because internet to. make everything and put it under a scope. Yep. 